Round of applause. Over half a billion US dollars represent the largest tech acquisition in the region to date. How do you feel about that? You know what? It's like, it's like when you're a parent and you have a lot of children. And as your children get older, you go to college and you move out alone. I mean, that's the way we see our property. We started our property seven years ago. It's a great company, it's very successful, and we feel like it's no longer a baby, it's an adult. It, it needs to move out on its own, it doesn't need us. Anymore. Oh my god. So, You're ready to let go with a seven year old? We're, we're ready to go, and we're ready to focus all of our energy, our heart, our dedication, our passion. Well, you know what? That's what makes it very, very exciting tonight. So yes, iFlix has been making a lot of waves, of course, across Southeast Asia already. Launching in Malaysia, Thailand, and obviously here in the Philippines. How have things been going with iFlix? Like, you know, uh, definitely the numbers are in. So, you know, like when we first started this business a year ago, we said, would people watch movies on their phones? A lot of people said, no, no, no. Like, no, no one would ever do that. People like their TVs. People want their the big screen. Right? They said no one will ever watch movies or TV shows mm -hmm. on their phones. So five months in, we now have over 400,000 people in the Philippines okay. signed up as members. But I'll tell you what, what blows my mind. We launched in Malaysia, we launched in the Philippines, we launched in Thailand. Out of all those three countries, the country with the highest viewership per day is the Philippines. We love our TVs, uh, TV shows and we love our movies, obviously. And, and I, I'll, I'll tell you what, what blows my mind is that in Malaysia, the average person, when they go to iFlix, on their phone, watches about an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, but here? In, in Thailand, it's about an hour and say 50 minutes. Okay, but here? In the Philippines, when someone goes in the person's play, they end up, he's on their phone, they end up watching for two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> You wonder what we do in our workplaces, right? <laughs> but yes, okay, you're putting the numbers in there, but because Filipinos, again, are avid fans of TV shows and movies. So here's the thing, the numbers are, you already said it, with a mere five months, over 750,000 users streaming more than 3.2 million minutes per day, and to break it down even further, 169 minutes per user per day. You were saying about hours, but this is already on a daytime, daytime, daytime basis. So really, what does it say about the Filipino audience besides we love our TV shows and our movies? What, what do you think is it that makes us just can't resist it? No, I, I think what it tells me is that next time when someone says, oh, hey, I was late, I was stuck in traffic. Uh-huh, besides that. <laughs> now I realize, hey, I'm late because I'm watching live breaks for two hours. <laughs> well, it helps us survive the traffic, most definitely. It, let, it lightens the load, right? And you're about to introduce, this is very, very exciting, the download and watch Offline. Correct. Offline. Meaning you don't have to have an internet connection? How, how does that go? No, no. So, I mean, what, one of the things that we love is that, you know, a lot of people have access to Wi-Fi, whether it's in the office, whether it's in the shopping center, whether it's in this hotel. And, you know, maybe after this you get on an airplane. Yeah. But you want to keep watching movies. So we have this feature, which is, and it's a game changer. No one else in the world does this, where you can download the movie now and then get on an airplane and fly to bar guy while you're on the airplane. You can still watch the movie. And you're not going to ask, you have a Wi-Fi password or not, you know, not, right. none, none of that anymore. As long as it's been downloaded into your tablet, your phone, your laptop, you can watch it on the plane, even without Wi-Fi. And that's a first, not just the Philippines, in the world, right? Okay, so with that, that's pretty much what's new. What is next then for iPhone? So what's next? Wow, well, there's, yeah, there's a lot. There's yeah. There's a lot. So, you know, one of the things that we're going to start to do next year is we're going to start to produce our own original content. So we're super, super, super excited about that. And one of the things, when we knew that we wanted to start producing our own original content, you know, we wanted to work with the best minds in the industry, you know, in the Philippines, in Malaysia, Thailand. And when we get in the Philippines, we wanted to, you know, who are the best partners now? Who are the best celebrity partners who can, you know, be more than just supporter, but who can be a shareholder, who can be a coach, who can be a mentor, who can be a guide in the life. It's really so putting yourself correct. in there, into iFlix itself, yeah, so right? You know, but, you know, like you said, like starting a business is like, it's like having a baby. Yeah. And you know, this is a baby, this is a baby that requires a lot of love and attention. Co-parenting. Exactly. So the more amazing parents we have yeah. for this baby, then this baby's going to go to really great, beautiful places. So again, you're going to be starting your own original production content. That's going to be very, very exciting because in the Philippines, not only do we have the richest creative minds, but when it comes to production, 
we also have the most hardworking people. So this is going to be very, very exciting times. So on that note then, I think uh, it's time for us to unveil or introduce to you who are these partners, investors, or uh, co-parents of iPlex. Ladies